The Twilight Zone and Unsolved Mysteries were two shows in the late 1980s that simultaneously enthralled and terrified me. Even watching Unsolved Mysteries on Amazon Video as an adult still gave me an odd, creepy feeling. Maybe it's Robert Stack, maybe it's the music, maybe it's the fact that many of these cases still remain unsolved. But it still intrigues me today. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that Netflix has resurrected the series. There's six episodes and all the old topics are covered from mysterious deaths to missing persons and paranormal experiences. This version, however, does differ quite a lot from the 1980s. The two big things are that there's no host and there's only one case per episode. The end result of this is that it feels more like a docu-series of standalone 45-minute documentaries connected only by the fact that they're all unsolved. I much prefer the old style where Robert Stack introduced each story and there were four or five or more stories. What I liked was that they weren't just someone's gone missing and we don't know what happened type of stories. The opening story about the death of Ray Rivera is perplexing, a real head scratcher, and was, I think, the best episode in the series. No matter what explanatory angle you take, you hit brick walls. It's a fascinating case. I also liked the UFO episode as it was one of those cases where it wasn't one isolated person that experienced it, but a whole lot of people across a wide area. Also, I should point out that there's one episode entirely in French about a French family in France. <laughs> it's an interesting case, but it did seem a bit out of place in what has traditionally been an America-centric series. At the time I'm making this, there's only six episodes released, which they're calling Volume 1. While it's quite different to previous incarnations of the show, I enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to seeing what turns up in Volume 2. 